Hi, I'm Dave Hillowitz. So thanks to the hard work of a guy named Fred Poirier, there is now a huge cache of new free sample instruments available for Decent Sampler. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about those instruments and how you can download them and use them in your music. So before we get started, probably we should talk about what Decent Sampler is. Uh, it's a free sampling plugin that's available for Mac, for Windows. Uh, there's even an iOS version. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, I highly recommend it, especially if you don't have the full version of Contact. Okay, so let's talk about these instruments. Basically, what Fred Poirier did is he took all of the instruments on Piano Book that are in EXS format, and he converted them over to work in Decent Sampler. That's over a hundred instruments. He also made a fantastic video about the process on his channel, so uh, definitely check that out and also give him a subscribe because, yeah, he's got more content on the way. Okay, so how do you get these instruments? Uh, after you have installed Decent Sampler, obviously, um, you need to download them from the Piano Book site. Um, Right now, it's a little bit hard to find the instruments on the Piano Book site because um, the site doesn't allow you to search by format. That's actually something that's being worked on. Um, in the meantime, the way that I've been doing it is by using Google, actually. Uh, I'm gonna include a link in the description of this video. And basically, if you click on the link, it will show you all of the instruments. And then you can click through and you get a description for each of them. And you can click this free download button here. And you'll have to enter your email address and uh, then click download now. By the way, I highly recommend signing up for a free Piano Book account. Uh, once you are logged in, it'll pre-fill your email address in this little download screen, and then you don't have to type your email address over and over again. Then you can download your instrument. Uh, make sure that you download the Decent Sampler version and not the EXS24. As you can see, that ended up in my downloads directory. Here's what it looks like. And now you can go into your DAW of choice. In my case, that would be live. I'm just gonna throw Decent Sampler onto the track. And now I can go back to that directory that I just downloaded and I can drag this in, click here and it loads right up. And that's it. Now you can just play it and use it just as you would any other virtual instrument. That's nice. That's not bad. Uh, I'm actually gonna record that. Some rhythm issues, but nothing too terrible. Okay, let's add another instrument. So I'm gonna drag another instance of Decent Sampler out onto the session view, and I'm gonna go back to that search page that I'm using. And um, yeah, let's see if we can get some strings. Ooh, that is an easy yes. Uh, I'm already familiar with this library, of course. Let us download that. Okay, it's downloaded. Now all I need to do is to go into here and uh, oh, right, there are a few different sub patches. I'm going to I think I'm going to do the swells. Oh, just listen to that. It's going to be a little loud for this piano, actually. Instruments that you've loaded once will show up in your library, which you can access by hitting the Browse button here and going to My Libraries. For example, I'm gonna load a patch here. And if we go into Browse and look at My Libraries, we can see English Classic is right here because we just loaded it. Decent Sampler also has the concept of a samples directory. Uh, you can go to the Preferences uh, here and uh, see what directory is set, and you can actually change it by hitting the Browse button. When you first load Decent Sampler, it shows you everything that's in that directory in the file menu. As your sample library grows, so too does uh, this file menu. So I'm probably gonna end up sweeping this all into like a sub-menu like that. Anyway, thought I'd mention it. Okay, I think let's add a lead melody now. I'm gonna actually duplicate the piano track and get rid of this clip and uh, see if I can think up something. By the way, if you're on Mac and you see this message, it means the plugin is having trouble loading the sample library. 
This is because of Apple sandboxing, which prevents applications from opening any file other than the one the user clicked on. Obviously, there's a problem for something like Decent Sampler, which needs to load both the DS preset file that you clicked on and all of the underlying WAV files. So there are two possible solutions to this. The first one is to simply take the directory and zip it up. Here, I'm using the built-in compression that's built into the Mac OS operating system. Uh, if you're on Windows, you can use some utility like 7-zip or something like that. Once uh, you've got that zip file, you change the extension. So instead of being .zip, it's now going to be DS library. And now, once it's DS library, it's just one file and the operating system isn't going to complain about the sandboxing. By the way, this is also the way that you would prepare a library for use on iOS. The other way to fix this issue is to actually just move this entire directory into your sample library or into any directory that's under uh, your music directory. So for example, if I uh, go here to my sample library and I drag this into the sample library and I now try to load this up, it loads perfectly because the sample library is actually blessed so it's not restricted by sandboxing in the same way. Another benefit of not compressing uh, is it actually causes the instrument to load a little bit more quickly because Decent Sampler doesn't have to decompress the file. Okay, I think that's it. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit like, and if you haven't done so already, now is a great time to subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.